<laughs> hey, look, this is I know I'm about a flight for this, bro. I'm not saying he's the best. I'm not saying he's the best. But in my opinion, T Rex is the greatest battle rapper of all time, bro. Let me. No, nah, I wouldn't say that. Let me say why. Let me. What say y'all why. say? I missed. T-Rex it. Is, look, I'm not saying T Rex is the greatest. I'm not saying he's the best. I'm not saying he's the best. But I'm the greatest. The only reason I say that is because T Rex is the only nigga from my era. Five different eras. Never took a break. You know what I'm saying? Who never, who never took a break. And up until, and up until the tragedy that he had with his family, like T Rex was still like that nigga. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I'll, I'll never take that away from that. And I know fans like to jump shit. You know, and like, I, you know, I what forgot saying? to talk about. Like, I forgot to talk about Rex because he, he, he been something in every era. Uh, he been, he, he's been no, he's been that nigga. He been every, legit, uh, and I'm saying he has not up, been that nigga. He's not that nigga now. But understand what I'm saying. Understand what I'm saying. Up until up until <sighs> shit, life changed, where some where he experienced something that may have thrown him for a loop. You know what I'm saying? Up until then, he wrecks that nigga. Legit. He may not have been the most popular. He may not have been whatever. But when you put him on a stage, nigga, he's electrified. He's legit. He was uh, uh, electrifying in every era. DVD, radio, not, not versus Nitty, bro. Understand what I'm saying? Up until the shit happened with his nephew. Up until then, okay, okay, after I, that, heard. I don't count. That's different. That's a What's life. That? That's it's, a been life. Eight, it's been eight no. years since that. And really, I'm, like, I'm, 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 I'm with you. But, 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 but under, I'm but, with you. But it's been yeah, like eight years. How dare you put? How dare you niggas put a cap, nigga, on something like that? How dare no, you? No, but I'm. I, we're, we're not. We're not putting a cap on it. Like respect to what happened in his life, but he hasn't been that nigga. You're saying yourself for eight years. So why are we saying I'm, in every era? I'm saying. I'm saying. For twelve to fifteen years, Rex was the headliner. Mook was the myth. Lux was a myth. Rex was the headliner. Everywhere he went, shut shit down. Went on a string of one ba- of one round battles that rival most niggas' career. Went on a TV show, shut everything down. Was on every summer madness, won every time it mattered. Legit and never took a break. Beat niggas he shouldn't have beat with mixtape verses. I'm telling you, T Rex is the greatest battle rapper of all time. He's the so greatest. Who, but so I'm- who would you who would you argue if you're not talking about <laughs> Rex? You're just talking about greatest. Who else would be in that argument? Uh, I think you put Verb in the argument. I think you put Disaster in the argument. I think you put Hitman in the argument. Tay Rock. I think, I think you put Solomon in the argument. I do think you put Tay Rock in the argument. It's a lot of niggas you can argue. I'm just, and and yeah. I'll and I'll only speak for me personally. I'll never say it's law. You know what I'm saying? Just so, for me, so just from, just being around, from being around from where. <clears throat> Nigga, when I was doing MTV, this is the nigga that they was talking about. When I was in meetings at Interscope, this is the nigga that they was talking about. Like, nigga, when niggas was going to different cities and niggas was like, yo, you ever battled such? Like, you ever battled such and such? And he was the nigga they was talking about. I'm saying before it became popular to be a battle rapper, T-Rex was a popular battle rapper. He's so, the greatest for so, me. So maybe a pioneer. <laughs> Mar- Mar- He's Mar- definitely Mar- a pioneer. Let, let, let me raise you this. I'm just going to take one of the people you said and like raise the argument, right? Mm-hmm. So let's take Iron. We put Iron against T-Rex. To me, the standout difference is maybe T-Rex started a little bit earlier than Iron. Iron had crossover success. He had the MTV. Him and Mook was the battle at the time, which seemed like, oh, whoever wins this is going to be the best battle rapper ever. Mm-hmm. And then it's like Iron has modern day classics and a, a greater longevity than T-Rex has. So So like, how do you how do you argue back against that and say T-Rex is greater than Iron? I would argue workload. I would argue the number of battles in which Rex in which Rex fucking performed to a level as opposed to Solomon's. It's kind of like the earlier consistency argument. If you're saying because Solomon has been great in every battle except one in my opinion. That's the agreed, battle. agreed. You know, he's been great in every battle except one. But if you're saying nigga Solomon is 19 of 20 and everything, everything up until the uh, everything up until the tragedy that Rex had, and Rex was clicking on all cylinders, bro. 
he was clicking on all. But you, but you, but you got to count that though. Like when we talk about athletes, <sighs> like, like athletes have tragedy. They, they, they have a crazy Super Bowl loss. Something happened in their family. Whatever. It's always what defines their story is the comeback. Like how did it, no, how did Tiger no, no, Woods no. get that last Masters? How did this person? No, come? that's not true. The come the comeback doesn't the comeback doesn't always doesn't always define the story. Uh, how you deal with adversity doesn't always define the story. If my body of work up until this tragedy and it may be a thing where it's like yo you maybe you shouldn't be doing this or maybe it does it, it does take away or it, it taints what you the some of the groundwork you've laid but well, Mar- Mar- so you're saying like so from like 2000 to 2012 like, he was on the side of the reason, I, world. I, I'm reason I gotta disagree with you more of is granted like I say uh rest in peace to, to bro nephew and all that and you know what I'm saying? No disrespect to his family and everything. I fucks with it. But I'm I'm saying in that aspect, a lot of people have dealt with that and worse tragedy. They probably just didn't bring it up in a battle or something to where the world knew, but they continue to. You know what I'm saying? Like, so mm-hmm. you can't say after a tragedy, like, because then we all will have excuses. Like, you know what I mean? Like, salute to hit man up here. He just went through something with, with, with his wife and his mm-hmm. family. I done went through losses mm-hmm. his whole career of just best friends, homies, Loved ones, family members dying, and all this that I don't even bring up. I'm pretty sure you have lost. Yeah, you know I mean, within this time frame, of you battling all of us? You know what I'm saying, niggas, mothers, and all that. You know what I'm saying, all type of different shit. So I think like you have to still count what happened after it to to factor in. Like I think Grex is one of the greatest, but to say the greatest and then you got a downside to the career uh, uh, is like kind of disjustice to those who never had I, those nail songs. That's fair. I, I won't argue that. And I'm, 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 I can definitely say that I'm, I'm probably speaking from a much more personal, a much more fact, personal. Fact. No, spot, yeah, no, no, fact. Hell because yeah, he's one of my favorites. If a nigga asks me, I'm always vouch for him too. So I know what you're saying. For yeah, sure. yeah. Yeah. But I'm saying at the time before niggas was outside, Rex was outside. Like when, like when I was out here, like when I was like really, really cared about that, trying to be, the best battle rapper in the world, Rex was outside. So it was like, and he was always outside. Like it wasn't a thing of, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I can, I can definitely say that I'm, I'm speaking from a space of, of seeing it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? More firsthand. So I'll, I'll, I'll make no, I'll make no, 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 no arguments about that. But I'm saying, for as, for as, as mythical, for as mythical as Mook is, for as mythical as Lux is. I don't think that battle rap would have transitioned to where it is without Rex. And I think, I think that that really, I think that that really, really is a testament to, to I'm what, tell you why I what agree. he was doing. I'm going to tell you why I agree. I had caught on a combo late. I was on the phone, but uh, I'm just talking about Rex because Rex from the era that we all wanted to be in too. Marv, you from the era too. Mm-hmm. Like, so, you know, we all looked up, like, damn, that nigga Rex on that doing this thing. You know, he from that era. And then when it was time for this era, he got a moment in this era that was critical. Well, I know this is probably another era, but the sector our era, no, no, Diddy put 10,000 up. Like, for, yeah. to see somebody like Diddy, do he did that at Rex battle. He didn't do it at Mook battle. He didn't do it at whoever else battle. He did that at T Rex battle. So that was so, that, that did so much for the battle rap culture, bro, just for. You know what I'm saying? A Harlem lean a bet on a Harlem verb got something to do with that. You know, STL do it. But mm-hmm. for him to for T Rex to be a part of that and then still five years later from that, still be headlined over there versus Bill. Like he mm-hmm. just it's just you gotta get like nobody's never done that. The only thing Rex got on me is that he from the era before me. <laughs> so he literally been and he can go get a main event battle right now. Like they mm-hmm. might go pay him with my main event something just because the shit, the way he talk on the motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Everybody want to see him talk. Everybody want to see him talk shit. He's somehow been relevant mm-hmm. in every era of battle rap. And and I think and I think in the era where Mook and Lux seemed un unreachable, Rex, we all looked at Rex like, okay, I can he 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 won't turn down a fade, like legit. And I think that really really counts. He was out here giving yeah. niggas. He was out here giving niggas one round work that should have never been in the ring with him. Legit. Be yeah, I think, I think Arsenal the greatest battle rapper of all time. And you can make an argument for that. You can, I make, you can, you can, you can make an argument. Like I said, you make a great argument for Arsenal because like I said, 
He the first one got on a move. He the first one was an independent contractor. It's battle rap. Like he the first. Then he started his own league. Then he did so much for the country. Oh, yeah, that, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that, that's why I be so mad because people be thinking I just be mad when they be yelling out names and not saying mine as far as the other guys. But I'm like the names they be yelling out ain't did half of the stuff is my peers, bro. Like real talk, bro. The nigga Arsenal started a whole league on top of battling in every other league, giving every other league millions. He got a hundred million views. Like, how the fuck could somebody else be, like, the names they be naming? That, that ain't even close. Like, I yeah. fuck he with He has luck. a top five battle of all time on that channel. Yeah, on what like, channel? You dub <laughs> Lux vs. Hollow. Oh, uh, Lux vs. Hollow. You talking about he, he booked a, he booked a, he booked, he booked a lot of battles over there on that league that, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that bring it into the culture. Yeah, yeah that, like, for him to be, and then on top of battling in 26 other damn countries and still being Arsenal, like, that's a lot of stuff when we start putting forefront of battle rappers to the front. What the fuck have you done for this culture? Like, I say a lot of names, and I, don't, I hate be saying names, talking bad about them when I ain't on here, but other names of people they be saying just ain't really did enough. But I shout out Lux, though, because Lux did have lines then. Key league in the culture. We needed that. We got Tay Rock versus Clips. We got Goods versus um, K Shine. He, had, he brought us some big time matches for the league. Agree with that. And he still came outside in every other, you know what I'm saying, era. I respect that. But the mother guys, bro, ain't done enough, man. Like, I'm sorry. Like, if you can't tell me what you've done for the culture to push it around for the last seven, eight years, you can't be a part of this conversation. Period, bro. I think the answer to that question is Arsenal. I don't think. When, especially when you add in the travel, making his own league and booking one of the top ten battles of all time on that league, I, that answer got to be Arsenal. That's right, Marv. Mar Mar I, I mean, I mean, we can argue, we can argue Hitman too, but I'm gonna let Arsenal have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let Arsenal have it. I got say, you. I fought Arsenal I got too, though. Just for the simple I fact, I, I think his league pushes more because me being on TV and bringing eyes to the battle rap is cool, but he really had a successful lead, like for a moment, like you know what I'm saying. He booked me versus O Red. <laughs> Me, you know what I'm saying? Like me versus Shug, Sharon versus Tay Rock, and like he got some real shit over there. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, man, Austin did. You know, I, Austin could be front runner. What's up, y'all? I said this the other day too. Um, I said that a lot of people. I don't see how it's so many legends in battle rap because a lot of people have not contributed back to the culture. Like if you've been here 10, 15 years. And you've done nothing to help put nobody in position, no platforms. I don't understand how you could be a legend. I really my, don't. My only question to that is what do you consider as, as, as giving back to the culture? Because that and, and I think when you made I think Do you, you consider what? Status, I said uh, what do you consider giving back to the culture? Because when you made when you made that status, I definitely think that I commented on it like what do you I consider? think you was one of them. Yeah, okay, give, so yeah, someone on there, I think it was either like I think it was organic or somebody, they was like, well if you battle pe newer people, is that giving back? Uh, I, I don't really I mean, I don't consider that. Because I mean we a lot of us do that. What I consider it is either trans transcending battle rap and bringing more eyes to it. Like how, you know, for instance, Hitman clips them. They're on Wild and Out now. We a couple of us have chances to be on Wild and Out and bring that fan base back to circle it back around the battle rap. That to me is still doing something more than just taking a lower name and giving him some love. No, that's but, not. But that's yeah. but, but Bonnie, you're talking about super happy for everybody who had the opportunity. But you're talking about four people. No, I know that. I know that. But I'm saying one one thing that I would consider. I consider transcending it and bringing eyes. I consider building a platform i consider things like that like how not to even toot my own horn but there was no girls on cards when i stepped outside and started going everywhere there was no there was no girl battle on every card i was me and a, me c3 a couple of us were the only few that was like no we need a girl on every car even if it's not us it has to be a girl battle on every car things like that make you feel like you have a legend status to me you're putting on for the entire culture not just yourself well bonnie i feel like there's a certain way like you can put them on and it kind of adds you so like for instance talking about arsenal or even we talk about hitman geeky what hitman did your mic your mic messing up go mic messing up can you hear me yeah there you go i said what hitman did with john john was giving back to the culture you know what i'm saying he elevated john john to a whole nother status and allowed john john to do the same for others what arsenal did with shoddy horror 
You know what I'm saying? That was monumental. Like, like he 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 helped a whole overseas scene. Yeah, get that was facts. That's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I think there are certain battles. You know what I'm saying? Even even Geechee taking the re the uh, rematch against A Ward just now, I feel like that is giving back to the culture. You know what I mean? Because what you help, what you doing? You building people's whole scenes by validating them. You know what I'm saying? And you adding you adding to the top tier. Like there's certain people that everybody. John John knows. and Jack too. John John did that for Jack. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it didn't go the the same way, but yeah, yeah, you gave him yeah, the shot. Said, gave him that, that, yeah, that's gave on a, on the biggest stage of you know what I'm saying, Jack career. Like that stuff matter. Like you said, it just trinkled down. So me giving back, like you said, to John John had he grew his name and was able to do the same, and you know what I'm saying. But I I, I forgot about how Arsenal went over there and then put the light on that whole battle rap league that overseas. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. was crazy. That was crazy. A lot of us went to London too, you know what I'm saying, and went over there and did our thing. And uh, I think Past and Hollow happened in London. Yeah. So that and that and that was going to be that was going to be my next question specifically. So Bonnie, and by by your by your definition, is is Pat Stay a legend? Um, not by mine, my personal preference of the definition of the word, but he's a staple. Like there's a, there's a lot of words that we don't use. Like staple is a good word. It's a I respect that, statement, but you're you're also talking about the fake. Like you're literally talking about the fake. Like you're talking. About say that again. You're cutting out. That means legitimately a legend. The, the reason why I'm gonna say he a legend. The reason why he a legend because he a legend of where he, where he from. Like that grind time or KOT. My father is a KOTD. He KOTD, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he he a legend there. So once you a legend, where you from? The only thing that's stopping you from being a legend to complete battle rap. Is when you cross over, and he crossed over and took a lot of names over there. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be. It's like, you know what I'm saying? But like we're not took, talking about crossing over and taking names, aren't we? Talking about in some part expanding the culture. Is that not? And he expanded. He from he from he from Canada. Yeah, and he from Canada. That's why he expanded. You come, yeah, you come. Yeah, he expanded. He's hey, he expanded. Like, I'd probably put Sharon over Pat. Come I'm, to be real with you, I'd put Sharon over Pat for legend status hey, only because. Only because number one, how can she can't you? Sharon had I more like batches. I think they both clearly legends. All, all, yeah. all I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, Bonnie, realistically, Pat Pat literally legitimized battling over there. Like legit, he was the one person that anybody that's from America saw him was like, oh, okay, they got rappers over there. Like legit, like Sharon is great. Sharon is a fucking prize. was Pat Stay, but Pat Stay one before the Diz though, was he? I'm talking about Canada. I'm talking about Canada. Yeah, he's, he talking oh, about Canada. Canada. Oh, you're talking about he's Canada. Talking about oh, okay. For Canada. He, he, oh, yeah, exactly. Hey, that's what I'm saying. He was the king of his world. He from first. So he got to be a legend. But that's losing me. Y'all losing huh? me, though, because y'all losing me. Because So just the people that started it are automatically legends, whether no. they give back nah, or nah, not. Listen to, no, listen to what I say after us. The reason he wasn't a legend because what he did over there. But he a legend because he was a legend where he from and then came over here and did it also. He's that's what make him really a legend. He a legend where he from, and then came over here and took the top, the top battle rappers and held his own. And people call him one of the best performers ever. Like that's like that gotta qualify you. You know what I'm saying? You can, if, he, if he want if he want the best where he was from, then he came over here and had some cool battles or whatever. It's like cool. But when you the best where you from, all you gotta do is come over here and maintain. <laughs> Hey yeah. Holly, hey Holly, y'all talking about giving back? Or you talking about legend status? That's what I'm trying to understand. Like yeah, for like, me, I don't back. call somebody a legend unless they're giving back. Yeah, that's what for back, me separates you. But that, but like that, giving back, like giving shots to niggas, that's dope. But like we're not gonna act like niggas don't have to get paid some crazy number. Like man, that's what I'm like, saying. Like, like giving back could be like starting a league, like bullpen or riot, to, like oh, putting your bro, niggas past on. But bro, if oh. past state from Canada, right? He no, battled yeah. when he when he come over here and battle. And then he go back over there and take them little names or whatever he doing. That's giving back. Yeah, that's wild to me. I'm I'm saying that man literally, if it wasn't for him, they would not have a scene. Period. Yeah. That is legendary. Yeah. That's, le that's legit legendary. Every that's person. What I'm arguing too. That's what I'm yeah, saying. I, I, and I understand what you're saying, Bonnie. I just don't. I don't. I don't want to give the impression that everybody's path has to be the same. Because everybody doesn't necessarily have aspirations of being a league owner or any anything like that. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to though. You don't have to. You could just so, know that one celebrity and be like, look, how can uh look, you like battle rap, you like what we're doing, but, how about you come in and invest some money? It, it doesn't but, have to be a league. But, but that but that but that isn't that that doesn't mean some 
have legendary stuff. What I'm saying is, without this person, that scene would not exist. All right, yeah, hold Marv, he, Marv, with that line, know, this bro. is nasty work. Hey, Marv, with that, because that was a great comment, bro. Would you say Jazz give back because she found twerk? No, nigga, no, no, no. I'm just not saying. doing that. I, I, I'm I, just mean, saying. Why, I mean, why? I no, mean, no. That, why don't that count? Now y'all talking about I, I discovery and shit. Now that don't I, discovery, I mean, like, something, discovery, discovery, got a league on her. Discovery got to count though. Yeah, no, discovery so count. When you, discovery when you talk count. about no, 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 when we no, talk about no, Jay Z no. being the goat, you don't talk about how he put Ye on. He put talk first about Jay Z's discography first. Don't discredit the Jay Z. We don't talk about his moves first. We talk about what he did. But you don't bring you that said up. When we talk there? about Jay Z, we talk. We don't talk about Ye. We don't talk about Ye first. No, we don't talk about Ye first. We talk about Jay Z. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just That's saying literally you don't what you bring just said, up. bro. That's no, what we're saying is that no. but Jay Z a legend because what he did too. But when you put people on, that's that's what you, that's becoming legend. So she put somebody on who transcended battle rap. How can you not I, I, what what's the I'm confused. So she, now we're so that makes you a legend. Like y'all just got this word all no, over. No, the no, no, that makes you a legend on top of what's left of the body. That makes you a legend on top of what else you did. Jazz no. is a battle rap legend because she's a rapper. That's why she a legend. She's and not then, a legend because she found twerk. That's not that's no, not no, the no, no, no. The word. She, no, she a legend because she found twerk, twerk on top of being Jazz the rapper. No, bro, I'm not gonna agree with you there. I don't understand it. That's like so, saying okay, but, verb. So hold on, hold on. Was Verb more of a legend after he found official? No, because Verb is Verb. But just no, still, you're talking though. about why Verb's so great. You bring up, yeah, he. Yeah, nobody, you bring up I've everything. never heard nobody bring it up besides three people in life that he found official. Period. But get, official, not New Jersey twerk. I'm neither. the third one. I'm the third one. Official is not New Jersey twerk. Jose, it doesn't hold matter. On. Who, she who transcended. She official. got in. She okay, got she in. and and that's why we said Verb. That's why we said Verb legend for that also. But what I'm saying is, Jazz the rapper is a battle rap legend. Cool. But if she found something and brought it to battle rap that transcended battle rap, just like a league would do. If I if I started a league that didn't transcend battle rap, do that yeah. matter? Because I started a league. If you started if it a didn't league, transcend battle rap, if I started a battle rap and then nobody from my battle league made it all trash, do that do that count for? Jazz found a New Jersey twerk who transcended more than my battle league. What's one count? For, what, what's one count most? I don't know what you mean. The league doesn't matter just because you find it one person. The league so matters you just because said, you're giving you people. Said, listen, hey man, let me finish. The league matters because you're giving people paid opportunities and time and a platform to do something. It's not about one person. Exactly. It's about starting so, something with exactly. multiple people. Exactly. So if twerk started a whole movement of forty thousand battle rappers by himself. And Jazz discovered That's that. That's Twerk's legend. The stop, why are you giving her? Because you know, Jazz, found, Jazz found it. It doesn't matter. So she takes credit for what Twerk does from now on. Who after, says after she that? takes credit? No. She takes credit for on. finding him. What you him. just said, though, is if Twerk starts 40,000, that would be Twerk's legendary step. And, ja and Jazz do. get credit for that because Jazz found him. What are you talking All right, about? Sir. All right, sir. Yo, yo, bon Bonnie. What Hitman is saying is there's like there's like ten, not not an exact number, but let's say there's like ten different criteria from being a legend. Some way more than others, others, and discovery can be a part of that. So if that's a part of your man. resume. That's it, really. And also, let me just say this real quick. I don't know why people keep taking credit for finding official. I'm the one who found official. I don't know where people talk crazy. No, Verb, the one that said that he found. No, him. no, he, he might he might have correct. He might have said okay. that and bring him up, but I'm the one. Okay, I'll just say I don't know who found. That's what <laughs> I'm saying. Crazy, I never heard Verb right? say that. That's, that's why I'm like, niggas who you are in the culture, too. nigga. Tell me. <laughs> no, nah, you know nah, what? Nah, no, 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 no. You know, you know what? No, no, no. Direct. No, wait, direct. Yeah. My fault, y'all. Not to cut nobody off. Direct. Hold on, hold on. Now that yeah. I think about it, Verb did bring her up back in the World War tournament. Yeah, and yeah, that's when I first met her. So you found her before that. So I can check the date for you. I got the footage on my phone. She was battling some nigga at some hole in the wall. And uh, when I was living in Houston, I was there with Young Ill. Um, she killed this nigga, and I immediately called Debo, didn't pick up, put her on the phone with Babs for like 15 minutes. Get this girl on Queen of the Ring right now. I don't care. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, fly her out. And then she had her uh, that first debut Queen of the Ring battle a month or so first. after that. Now, Ver now, Verb brought her up in a one round in St. Louis yeah, in World Verb War. Had a first. And she went. And she and we and I asked her, "Who are you?" She like, "I'm from New Orleans. I've been doing my thing." I think that's how 
Yeah, I, if I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but our first battle before anybody knew it was in St. Louis, and that's yeah. when he fought the other that's guy. That's when I was, seen it. Yeah, Saya and all them niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Tell these niggas who you are. <laughs> Tell these niggas. Okay, okay. Say this. Say this. Say this. Verb, you could say, and of course, check the dates. I'm gonna call Verb on this, but you could say Verb found it, but I'm the one who got her on Queen of the Ring. We could do it like that. Okay, okay. Okay, yeah, that's a, like for that. sure. Yeah, like talk that. your shit. Talk your shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But now, okay, I was just so there's this different part. criteria of legendary statuses, is what y'all saying. All right, so I thought we was agreeing on one definition. That's why I was lost. So there's oh, different no, criteria that. for y'all. Oh, finding oh, people man. make you a legend. I'm saying that make like niggas like <laughs> Norbs and them legends for like battle rap too, right? Well, like because he, well, you know, he had his own league, so all the pla- all the lot. Of, I'm sure he got a lot of talent from his league that. You know what I'm saying? That pro- you know, just like we said with leagues. Anytime you have a league, you're in a great chance to become. No, I'm a, a, a battle rap legend. I mean, here a battle rap legend for sure. Because uh, yeah. you ain't got to be a battle rapper to be a battle rap legend. Yeah. We understand that, right? And respectfully, respectfully, Geeky, it's a lot of niggas who would not be around if it weren't for Norbs. Honestly, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying like battle rap legend, like not bad, like D Rec is a yeah. legend. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like D Yeah, D Rec. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Beasley, like you know what I'm saying? Beasley, a battle rap legend, <laughs> like. You know what I'm saying? So it's just all about if I can see your if I can say your name and, and something like when you think of D-Rex, you think of a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, man, he was that. He the reason so he the reason because of that. Boom, 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 boom. Like that makes you a bad if you got anything legendary tied to your name. You gotta be some legendary tied to your name too. That's Technically, probably what we, we all fucking legends at this point. Because when you look at the definition, it say a famous or notable person. Like uh, we all that. Yeah, yeah, it's just different. It's just different tiers of legends. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just, you gotta understand. Yeah. Newborn, newborn is a legend. He in a different in this different way. Like back then, like him getting like I don't want to say legend. Okay, maybe I'm saying the wrong thing. <laughs> no, you said what you said. You said what you said. Like what? Like, like well, not what I mean by legend. It just. Legend. A lot of us are part of legendary moments. Yeah, I can, I can, I can appreciate okay. that. So there's a lot uh, of vets with legendary moments. We can say that there's a lot of vets that yeah. have legendary moments. Yeah. It's so, like so kind. It's so kind of legend. For it, for it, for it. Vet with legendary period. moments. Vet now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no because no, and it's crazy for me to say that, but it's when we talk about longevity, right? There was a moment where you might have said he's a legend. In 2011, you might have been like, Soul Khan's a legend. But as the years go by, it's like, how long can you put these titles if you yeah. don't have that long that's why. That's why I asked that off the fly. I knew, you know, yeah, exactly. Okay. But, 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 so, just, so that's for like Soul Khan and Rich Dollars and, and all them guys. They not legends. You know what you know what we got to do? We got to look at it like the uh, Hall of Fame. You know, every year with the NFL, how they always be arguing over who goes into the Hall of Fame. I think just because you were great, don't mean you make the Hall of Fame. That's how I look at legendary status. So if everybody like that, that's a good thing. I like that one. So like, let's say five. Let's say this is five years just went by. Battle rap stopped today, and then five years went by. You get you get. Let's say ten. Let's say ten just to make it so you can add more enough people. Who first ballot? The first ten. First ballot. Hall of Fame. Battle rap. Oh shit. <laughs> Rex, Rex, Mook, Mook, Lux, Verb, Lux. Arsenal. Disaster, 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 No. Wow. Conceded, Conceded might be the second year. Yeah. Yeah. Hitman would go before Conceded, I think. I would go before a lot of them niggas. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You know what? This Why is, did you start this? This is to an ego. This nigga just, he, he just was naming real freely without. Hey, bro, real talk, bro. Real talk, bro. Let me tell you something, bro. <laughs> let, me, let me just tell you something, bro. Because you told me I will go before conceded. What do we next? Well, what gets you into this list, Greedy? I want, I'm talking to Greedy, y'all, because Greedy real. No, I want to. I'll be seeing what he be doing. What gets you on this list, Greedy? Um, salute, man. Um, okay, so for me, I'm weighing in impact, I'm weighing in longevity, uh, strength of schedule, moments, overall level of performance, and win loss. You, you name me eighth or ninth? Oh, yeah, boy. You named the nigga with eight battles before me, bro. Well, uh, when I'm, when I'm talking Hall of Fame, I weigh, uh, like impact the heaviest and not in the sense like you've had 
you know, the the moment impact. That's why I made that its own category. Like Lux and Mook and Rex on the street corners and shit, Lions Den, everything like that. The way they transcended battle rap, I feel like they gotta go for his ballot. Yeah. So I know y'all might things. crucify that's me for this, like, right? I, I got you things. on there too, but I, they were the first three people like instantly I had to say. Yeah, I know, I know y'all that. might crucify me for this, right? But if Mook would have came later on, y'all think he would have still been a legend? Because I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I feel like a lot of people just get it just because they started it and were in opportunities, as opposed to they rose but, to that. But I just pitch. told Bonnie, you, Bonnie, you right, that. Bonnie, because I just told Greedy that because also it's just like transcended battle rap to where? Because when you transcend battle rap, you trans, you take it somewhere, right? But our class is the people that took it somewhere because we was the first ones getting booked for arenas and you know what I'm saying stages and venues and all that so when you say transcended battle rap what you mean by like the two what I mean by like when I look back and I, when I look back and see like how things went before I was in it I was like okay so Mook was the first one quote unquote to if I correct me if I'm wrong get like a record deal type of situation and maybe I'm wrong. Was he the first one? I think I think Sirius Jones was. Jones or Mills, I think Sirius so. Jones was. Okay. But I don't really count. I don't really. I don't really count Jay Mills because he was a battle rapper. But when you come before them, like they was battling like for a hobby. Like I can't really explain it because back then, you know, you could just battle with sixteens and seventeens. Like, but you know, like Loaded Lux and was standing on corner and battle, and I ain't see Jay Mills do that on camera until move. If that make all well Enes. So the impact he had on other battlers is really what gives him the legendary status. You Not really what he did Bonnie? himself. Bonnie, you talking about Mook? Yeah. Here's 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 the thing about Mook, and I don't like Hitman Mar- oh, Marvin here no more. He's like Geechee, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can speak to this too. Like, I feel like everybody wasn't prepared to be a battle rapper on that level at the time where Mook was. I feel like he understood the mission and he was able to do things that at that age and at that time, a lot of other people might have not been able to carry the torch in the same exact way. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to think, like he had dope battles, Party Audi and all these other people. And I think what really made Mook, Mook a legend was that Young Hot performance. Not to say it was the most classic battle of all time, but it was kind of like the shot heard around the world. It kind of solidified who Mook was for anybody really testing him. But I think like, a lot of battlers can say what they want, but I don't think they would have been able to wear that crown during the DVD era the way Mook was. Okay, I get what you're saying. It just be seeming like weird shit to me, though, because a lot of times it'll be like, okay, we giving, just like you said, Young Hot, I don't even know who the fuck that is. Granted. But <laughs> um, let's say My we're talking thing. about, but we'll, you'll be, people will be like, oh, but Jay- JC's battling um, fucking Poopy Doo or whoever, so it don't matter. But we'll still give respect to an old battle where one person is clearly unknown and the other one isn't. But the exactly. other thing is Mook had wars. Like, Mook and Sirius Jones won but, the but, 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 but who transcended? But my thing is, y'all give transcended. They transcended the smack era? Because I don't think he transcended URL at all. Like, not even... I don't think sure, he transcended I, I, this. I think he was supposed all. to. Like he was the first battle from what I was looking at. He was the first one that was supposed I, to. Like I think I think the thing was this. I think Smack the Smack DVDs kind of transcended that whole like uh it, it, it transcended culture, right? So where a lot of people might be looking for certain stuff on TV, you could only find this stuff in, in certain places, you would go directly to Smack for it. And I think Mook was a was one of the faces attached to the popularity of that DVD. Uh, the smack, for sure. So my exactly. thing is now, when you transcend that to okay, eyes on it, you gotta you gotta t- carry the torch. So when it got the eyes being on it, or whatever you're saying he brought to the DVDs and all that, what happened in 2010 on up? Like, how could you transcend if you're not a part of it? I understand. I understand what you're saying, and I'm not I don't know if I'm necessarily willing to die on the Mook Hill. I'm just saying he's a legend for that first era. No, I, I no, I ain't saying no. Yeah. Well, we, we talking about yeah. two different things. I know he. I'm not arguing on legend. No I could understand that he's. I'm, I'm gonna say that I could see why he's a legend because he inspired other people to want to rap a lot. I'll leave it there. Battle rap to want to battle rap for sure. But my thing is when you start talking about URL, which started in 2010. My thing is how somebody who haven't been a part of that for real really transcend that 
Like you gotta be a part of something. You gotta push it some kind of way to be to transcend battle rap. So you transcend from DVDs to to clubs or getting books, right? But then don't mm-hmm. do nothing else. How much credit can we give you? Well, what if what if most people say is the consensus best battle rap event of all time? Summer Madness two, right? Starts the most yeah, with the most names on it, yeah. They're 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 all on that. You know what I'm saying? And it's like. You know, but my thing is, we was in the same arena. We was in the same arena a year before without none of those guys, and it was but sold it wasn't out. That, it wasn't Summer Madness. One isn't talked about when they say what's the best events of all time. You but know, it, no, it doesn't make they, a top no, three. Some, make they a top say that five. because of the things that happened there. Exactly. Because in attendance, and not because of the battlers. Because what I'm telling you, it's all though. about selling tickets, huh? Who brought them out though? Like Busta Rhymes. The people from they they from their hometown, bro. That's what I'm trying no, to say. Like, but they still get credit for it. You know what I'm saying? You get credit for knowing famous people. You get credit for bringing them out and making the best battle rap event ever. No, do you get? Do you get? Or is, well, okay, what's it? What get? What get more credit? Filling up the seats with fans, or bringing stars, or bringing people from your hometown, or from your same borough. I'm Don't with you. you. Huh? Yeah, I think that I, they both matter. I'm with you though. But that's what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is the same. My my thing is transcending battle rap to something that we could like something else. Meaning, we wouldn't have did that without them. That's what yeah, I'm saying. I, so that same think... building, so that same building had the same three thousand seats that was sold a year before without Diddy, without Busta Rhymes, without you know what I'm saying, and all the other famous people that was there. No knock to that. But what I'm saying is those same seats was filled. We talking about trans. We don't. Maybe I'm maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm arguing another thing. No, maybe I'm arguing. For me, this this is all it is for, and I think it really just comes down to what you prefer. Because my my top ten, like my first uh, ballot for the Hall of Fame, used to be way different until like I had a conversation with a bunch of rappers and like a couple whose opinions I respected. And it's like it's not even about like them transcending it the most or anything like that, but. Like, when you're doing, like, a Hall of Fame, like, I feel like the people who started it in the first, like, they got to get the homage in there. Like, just get them in the Hall of Fame first. It's not about... Yeah. They don't... They don't... Lux, Mook, Norrex make my top five. Two of them are in my top ten. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm talking, like, the greatest or the best, but if I'm throwing people in the Hall of Fame and we're inducting them, like, I feel like they got to get that homage and go first. Yeah, so I ain't really talking about that. I'm just talking about when people say transcend and bring battle rap because 2022 is a fall, is a long way from 2003 2004 2005 2006 so if we got six if we got it all the way if we gonna say lux and Sirius jones and all them the reason to get in 2006 to 2010 it's like you got to keep the ball rolling so who got 2010 this is my point that's what i was trying to say though because nah, like, nah, other no, people that built shit and they, and they did. I'm saying because if you take the the best card ever that you said, what two battles trended that battle for battle rap and which ones hurt it? <laughs> if we were talking about if we talking about who did stuff for what, because I remember that was the worst battle ever. Damn near. <laughs> so it's like we keep giving people credit for expanding a culture when they really not expanding a culture. And like I said, I gave Lux credit because he'd been outside of every other. He battled Geechee. Then he came back, battled Verg. Then he battled Kyle. Then so he didn't bat, he didn't been there. But like I just don't understand the whole expanding the from 2010 to 22 when you got three battles and none of them and only one of them good. Like that's why I don't be understand what people be saying that shit. It just make I just don't I really don't understand it. I really don't, and I don't even be hating. It's like help me understand why y'all be calling niggas goats and all this shit when the you know what I'm saying when the schedule got the weakest schedule for a superstar ever got the weakest performances for the superstar you know what i'm saying it's just everything he do he don't really do it good and i'll be like what y'all be talking about no, that's I'm all i be- you. 